Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am here with um, a show and tell of the new Anastasia liquid lipsticks. So there are um, two ways to get your hands on these through the website and through Macy's. I'm going to presume that they will eventually make their way to other vendors such as Sephora and, and uh, Ulta. Um, however, for now, these are the two places you can get this. These, this was just launched. Um, they um, are kind of like all the rage. Everyone's talking about them. And um, if you saw my best of 2014 video, I mentioned how liquid lipsticks um, that dry down matte are um, one of the new product formulas for lipsticks that came out in 2014 or was the kind of really the, all of the rage in 2014. And so Anastasia, who has been really getting her brand out in um, into more, you know, diversity around the type of products that they have. They have added a lot of makeup products, eyeshadow palettes, things like that. Um, and so now they have this liquid lipstick. And um, everyone's been raving about it. I've seen pictures just all over Instagram um, of people who have had them and raved about them. So I wanted to get my hands on them because you guys know that I have to, um, you know, be all up in the mix. I just, I, you know, I got to try when it's, you know, everybody talking about it. I got to see what it's all about. So I picked up a couple of colors um, to see, you know, what all the hype was about. And I have to say, they're pretty amazing. They, again, dry down matte. They stay all day. Now, the kryptonite to this is going to be oil. However, this is also how you're going to get them off of your lips. So I recommend um, Garnier Fructis has like an oil cleanser that you can use or any um, eye, um, eye makeup remover that has oil in it. You know, you shake it up, you can do it like that. You can use traditional oil. You can use like coconut oil. Any type of oil will typically break this product down and get it all off of your lips. Um, and that will help a little bit with the staining. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get it off, but some of the darker colors, brighter colors, they, they do stain. So with all that being said, I'm gonna show you the colors that I have here. I have um, kind of three reds and three kind of dark vampy um, colors. So what I have on my lips here is called Vamp and it's um, a beautiful kind of dark red brown color. So traditionally, you would think of vamp, if, if I said I was wearing a vamp color and that was the name of it, you probably would think of like a dark purpley red. This is more of a brown and I love it for that because I typically like to wear um, deeper reds, dark reds that are a little bit more brown versus purpley pink. I like those too, but I've been all about kind of that woodsy red. So I like that. Um, I also picked up Heather's. Heather's is very, very similar. I thought it'd be just a tad bit different, but they're pretty, um, they're all, you know, they're not identical, but they're similar in shade, but this is a more red. This is a deep red, but it's red. Um, not as brown, leans more orangey uh, yellow. And then I picked up Sad Girl. Sad Girl is the only one that I have that has shimmer in it. And um, that's a really cool effect because it does still dry down matte, but it has a beautiful shimmer to it and it's like a pinky uh, magenta color. Then you have American Doll. American Doll is gonna be your bright red. I will always pick up the bright red in any formula because you know I love red lipstick, so I wanted to try this one out. Um, it's a beautiful red. And then you have Spicy here. Spicy is a bright orange. It's a little bit kind of uh, woodsy orange, like a browner version. It's not super bright. Um, but then I have a bright coral. This one is electric coral. It's a beautiful bright coral color. Um, so I kind of tried to get the full spectrum. I didn't get any nudes. Um, maybe because these run for $20 a pop, I will pick up more nudes. Um, but I kind of really want to see how some of these nudes play off on uh, women of color um, because I don't want anything that's going to look like, you know, a milk mustache on my lips. So, um, you know, I went with colors that I was pretty confident would work really well with my skin. So again, this is Vamp and I really like the way this one looks um, on. And so, um, yeah, I love the formula. It dries down to really nice, comfortable matte. It's not super drying. It's a little dry, but it's not super drying. Um, and the application is a lot 
um, knead her because it's a liquid first as opposed to like your traditional red ruby root ruby woo um which can kind of tug at your your lips a bit because it's so dry so that kind of crayony effect you don't have with this because it, it starts off liquid and um helps for a little bit easier cleanup as well you can catch it while it's uh, still wet and it's not dry um i would say that because it has a doe foot applicator that's pretty stiff that also helps um but you can always put on a little lip liner before you put on this um I haven't had any issues. I wore the uh, Sad Girl with a lip liner around it and I didn't notice anything that would show that the lip liner would, you know, make the lipstick come off any easier or anything like that. So, um, yeah, I really like the product. Um, some people might be a little turned away by, you know, how, um, you know, the, the staying power and it's going to stain and all of that. Again, oil goes a long way. Mary Kay eyeliner up. Uh, eye makeup remover is one of my favorites. Um, I use it for a lot of my matte lipsticks. It gets it off, no props. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, of course, just let me know. And stay tuned. I'm going to give you some lip swatches in um, at the end of the video. So keep watching. I'm going to show you how these colors look on my lips.